Have you ever considered buying a site to build a house? Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Terry Gorry Podcast. If you want to buy a site to build a house, I think there's three ways you can do it. One, you can just buy a site with no plan information whatsoever and not make it conditional upon getting plan information. If it goes wrong, however, you end up with a field or some sort of a site that's essentially agricultural land that if you can't get plan information, that's what you're stuck with. Now, if you only pay agricultural prices for the land, then there's no huge loss, but your money will be tied up perhaps in a site that will be not fit for the purpose that you want it, that is to build, to build the property on it. So that's the one way to go. Second way to go is to buy a site subject to planning permission. In other words, the contract will be subject to and conditional upon planning permission being granted to you. So you enter into the contract, you sign it, you pay a deposit, but it'll be subject to planning permission for the site in sale been granted within a certain period of time, say 12 weeks from the date of the contract and closing date of the sale then will be 14 days after the issue of the said planning permission and if the permission is not issued on or before the closing date then the vendor should have the option to extend the period in which to allow the purchaser to obtain planning permission or furnish a refund to the purchaser of his or her deposit without interest costs or compensation. In other words, if you are not able to get planning permission for the site in question, the deal is off, you get your money back. And the third way is to buy a site with full planning permission. That site obviously is going to cost you more money. It has planning permission, but you'd want to be careful about the conditions of the planning permission and especially the contribution to the local authority, the financial condition in the planning and uh, perhaps some occupancy permission or some occupancy condition as well. You'd want to check that. But in general, you'd want to check the planning uh, uh, conditions granted in the planning permission that was granted. Check them very carefully. So if you want to buy a house, or buy a site rather, with a view to building a house, there are three ways I see you can go. One, site, agricultural land, take your chances to a site subject to you getting planning permission. If you don't get planning, you get your money back. And three, a fully fledged site with planning permission granted. Check the conditions. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. And you can find me online anywhere. Just Google my name or do a search for my name, Terry Gorry. I have a website, obviously. I have a YouTube channel and so on. Thanks for listening.